Harmy Hotties, a very good morning to you. It is just me, Scotty McClue. Welcome, welcome, matey. Now then, uh, lovely to have you with us this morning. Just a quick pop-up. So I won't keep you, but uh, it's always lovely to see you just to see what's happening. So tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that you're watching a Scotty McClue. Good morning. Good morning, Iron Brew. Always remember to tell us where you're from. All right. Very important. And then I can tell it to the world. We are global, you see. So uh, it's nice to say, hi, Scotty, did you do all that sort of stuff? But we need to tell the world. Yes, indeed. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Craig. Where are you from, Craig? Do tell us. Yes, everybody tell us where they're from as they come and join us. Hi from Gurak, says True Crime Files. Hi, True Crime Files from Gurak. How wonderful is that? A beautiful part of the world. And hi from Greenock, says Mark. Mark, hi to Greenock. You're a branch of the green oak tree like myself, a man after my own heart. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Brendan. Where are you from, Brendan? Hi from Blackpool, says Bobby. Dinky do, Bobby. So we've got Blackpool, we've got Greenock, we've got Gurok, we've got Guatemala. Craig lives in Guatemala. What do you do in Guatemala, Craig? Uh, so there we are. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, dinky do. Follow us as soon as you can. Brendan's in Greenock as well. A good few Greenockians and Gurokians joining us this morning. Wonderful stuff. And dinky do, I say to you, uh, I moved from Guatemala to Scotland when I was quite young. Excellent, Craig. Uh, would you rather... Now, what have we got here? Yes, I think we'll get rid of you. That's not that kind of thing. So there you are. So the would you rathers, um, let's just block them for life. Lifetime ban for the idiots. There we are. Lovely stuff. We like that. Hi there. I'm from Australia. Hello. Good day. Lovely to have you with us from down under in Australia. Fantastic. Some comments to the live were filtered to protect the community's experience. I love when I see that because it means the wee trolls have been kicked off down the swatty. We love that, half-witted idiots. Imagine coming on and doing that on TikTok's top talk show. And imagine expecting me to read that out. Name an aircraft for an edit. The Avro Lancaster. Avro Lancaster. Supermarine Spitfire. Sop with pup. Fairy swordfish. I love honey, says Swarmer. Now, Mr. Monda, straight down the swanee with you, because you are a halfwit. There he goes. Bye-bye, Mr. Monda, the halfwit. Have a nice life, la. Blocked for life. That's lovely. Excellent. Hi, Scotty, from a train going to Tokyo. Colin, this is tremendous. Is it a bullet train? Do you like honey, Scotty? It's a swarmer. Uh, I don't like honey, no. I love honey. How fantastic is that? I love the Manuka honey. There we go. It's sunny up the stone, says Mark. Mark, you can't beat the stone. The stone and the fancy farm. Uh, Scotty, how's your Thursday morning? It's beautiful. Why Rangers and Celtic don't like each other? I think they love each other. One couldn't really exist without the other. It would be a very dull world. But they need to chuck any rivalry and they need to chuck any sectarianism. There we are. Uh, Scott, uh, I like red bulls. So there you are. You're a, you're a cattle man. You're a cow man and a bull man. How fantastic is that? Rivalry will never end. Well, I think it will, McKinley, if we scrap the old firm teams and have Glasgow United. Check out my TikTok videos. It's like Inverclyde FM here, says the crime files. We love it. Uh, Scott, your advice to a young person, always be yourself, always tell the truth, always look before you leap. Remember, you are a fantastic human being. 
And uh, remember, if somebody's got a problem with you, that's their problem. Yes, indeed. Uh, no, no, that's too much, Callum. You need to cut down on that, I would say. Dinky-doo, how do you do? Gordon, how lovely to have you with us and a big dinky-doo to you. We've only popped up for a couple of minutes as per usual. Although the other day I said I'll just pop up for five minutes and one hour later, well, I think it was 50, 55 minutes. Scotty, give us a song, oh, Robert. I would love to give you a song. And um, there we go. No, too much. Uh, get yourself to Japan. You'd love the mentalness of it all, says the wonderful Colin. Dinky do, Colin, watching in Japan. I love that. Uh, are Celtic good for Scottish football? Celtic are not uh, good for Scottish football. They are excellent for Scottish football. And um, I have English and Spanish and Welsh relatives. Can I call you on Skype? Well, we've not got the lines open this morning, Callum. Uh, we can have Celtic Rangers and Glasgow United, same as the Women's League. Women's football, Mark, is it taking over? How long do you think it'll be before you have an all-female mainstream Celtic team and Rangers team? It's sunny in Gurek. I'm off to Dunoon today. Excellent. Are the ferries good to Dunoon these days? I can remember the Aaron and the Butte and the Cow. Uh, Jum will just get rid of you because you're a half-wit and you mustn't assume everybody has your lifestyle. Jum. There's Jum away. Bye-bye, Jum. <laughs> there we go. Now then, A up, mate, from Doncaster. A Irish. Lovely to have you from Doncaster, lad. Aye, that's it. Uh, currently back in my home country of the Netherlands on holiday, says Jay Van. Ha, Jay, come into hus, vilt you and kippete hebben? Ja, ja, ja. Uh, I'm feeling in my klompen. Uh, the best of Scottish football. Partick Thistle, would you say? Are they the best? Or um, what about Darvo? There's a team to reckon with. So there we are. Uh, do you drink, uh, J.D., says Callum? Uh, I don't drink alcohol, Callum. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, a shout-out to all the boys, says Owen, absolutely. And Maka, yes, indeed. Edinburgh is wet, says Kyle. Do you mean in general or weather-wise? You know, I think we need to have a look at that. Are you the guy from the radio? Debs, I'm the guy from the radio. Yes, indeed. Shadows in China. Hello, Shadow. Lovely to have you with us in China. Um, I might uh, visit China someday. My family comes from Strone in Danun, a beautiful place to see. Mark, I know Strone. Lovely wee church there, I believe. Strone. Did the did the ships used to call in at Stone? Yes, is there a pier at Stone? I know there's one at Kilmun. Uh, do you know Kilmun? I thought you meant up the Strone in Greenock, you see. Yes, two different ferries to Danoon. Come down sometime. I would love that, True Crime Files. Um, I uh, thoroughly enjoy going to Danoon. It's a very bonny part of the world. Hi from Ayrshire. Hello, Irish warrior. Lovely to have you with us and Dinky Doo. Uh, what's happening, troops? Uh, Dinky Doo, Andrew, everything's happening. Is he speaking English? You got it in one, Harvey. Well done. Nothing gets past you. Do you uh, speak English yourself? Uh, fantastic. What do you speak? What does black pudding taste like? Is it a sweet taste? Um, it's a very, very pleasant taste. I had a couple of slices yesterday, and it's very nice. No, it's a kind of savoury taste, very balanced. I don't, Callum, no, no, I don't go for anything fizzy at all. Uh, you know who is the best? It's Scotty, Mon the Famous, Mon the Famous Scotty. Yes, indeed. Thanks, Chris. Uh, follow us, guys, if you can. We're on it. I've got 1,100 likes. 
How good is that? There is a go, but I would advise caution. It's expensive. We're doing an experiment, and we want to see if anybody's flush enough to give me even one. Can you see the go there? But we're only looking for one. It's a test, guys. So be very careful. Check out the cost first. And it's only for flush people. Well, otherwise, says Kyle, I know, Kyle, I was just messing with you, Lala. Uh, we're at 1,500 likes. How good is that? Everybody's obviously got the phone, and they're giving it tap, tap, tapity, tap, tapity, tapity, tap. We love that. I thank you. <laughs> um, hello from Yoka. We love Yoka Bryden. Uh, cool, cool, Mark. Yes, indeed. Uh, Scotty, have you ever drank the, any mentions um, a proprietary drink? No, Buster. I would never do that. So there you are. A uh, dinky do from Reading. I don't drink alcohol, Buster. A uh, dinky do from Reading, says Narnia. Narnia, we love it. I used to shop at Hillis. And uh, Broad Street, Broad Street, do you know Broad Street? And do you know the wee bridge just going over the river there? What's the river in Reading? Is it the Loddon? I'm not sure. Uh, do help me here. And I used to lunch at the old buttery. Do you know the old buttery? Lovely, lovely. And uh, I lived with friends in the Lower Early. Ah, never a moment. And they used to listen to Radio 210. Do you remember 210? How fantastic was that? And uh, I also uh, traveled to Wokingham. Oh, my goodness. Is this not amazing? We love Reading. Do you know Crowthorn? Yes. I had a friend who used to stay just opposite the... Um, the Road Laboratory at Crowthorn. How about that? Dinky do Narnia. We love it. Kaboom. Uh, we go live tonight for a couple of minutes. Well, Brendan, you know what you know what McClue is like? I go live for a couple of minutes and end up spending an hour with you. And we usually go on the YouTube channel as well. Guys, follow me, please. I need you to follow if you're watching. Do you know right? And this is amazing. 2,120 likes. Get following, guys. Everybody on TikTok should follow Scotty McClue. We should have a million followers. I'll tell you why. I looked up the official figures for Scotty McClue's TikTok videos. 94.1 million people have watched my TikTok videos. So I'm actually huge on TikTok, but somebody hasn't played the game. I've only got 25,000 followers. Now, there's a TikTok video at the moment that yesterday, 10,000 people watched in addition to the 2,500 that were already on it. So have a look at that one. Um, hi, Scotty Dinky Doo, Margo. How lovely to have you with us. Uh, what have we got? Get following, guys. Iona, yes, indeed. How's young Scotty from Northern Ireland? Ollie, I've put a solution to Northern Ireland's future up, guys. 3,100 likes. Is everybody going tap, tap, tapity, tap, tapity, tapity, tap? Tell everybody that we're live. Share this right now. Every single person watching, follow and share. Now, to follow, am I right in saying you pop up to the top left and click the plus sign? Now, I don't think that's too big an ask for somebody that's done 40 years of public service broadcasting on television and radio written for the newspapers, been online since the internet became a thing 
Oh my goodness me. Uh, we love Northern Ireland. Hi, Scott. I used to listen to you every night on the radio. Onion Muncher. I loved all that radio stuff. It's brilliant. The radio is just mainly a jukebox now. There's not anything big on that you would have an appointment to listen. Scotty McClure used to attract quarter of a million people per half hour, every half hour, five nights a week. Apparently, I've made two hundred million pounds for media moguls. I should have had a wee share of that myself, shouldn't I? So there you go. My mum's from Glasgow. What's your thoughts on Glasgow? Well, Glasgow is just the most beautiful city in the world. And um, I don't think there's any argument for that. And I went to Glasgow University, uh, the finest university in the world. And I've lived in Glasgow for many, many years in the finest part of the world. So apart from loving and adoring the dear green place, I can't really speak much higher of anywhere. I've sung in Glasgow Cathedral. I've um, been to Mass in Glasgow. I've been to Divine Service in Glasgow. I've worked in the theatre, the Theatre Royal. I've worked with Scottish Television. I've worked with the BBC in Glasgow. I've uh, worked in the theatre. I've worked in opera in Glasgow. I've worked in radio in Glasgow for Radio Clyde, for Scott FM, for L107. For Q96, for Nation Radio in Glasgow. Um, what else can I say? I've walked around most of Glasgow. I've been on the underground most mornings. I've been on the buses most days. I've been on the train, high level and low level. I've lived in Mary Hill. I've worked in Mary Hill. I've, um, what more can I really say about Glasgow? Uh, you know, I've walked it from Annie's Land. Um, I've walked it to Annie's Land, to the shops. What more can I say about Glasgow? Uh, so there you are. So there's my thoughts for your mum. <laughs> Uh, we go live tonight. I'm out, Brendan. Cheers, pal. Absolutely. You're Netherlander seen. Yeah, yeah, danke. Yes. Now, what have we got here? <coughs> That's excellent. Thank you. I can only eat black pudding with tomato sauce. Well, that's interesting. I can only eat tomato sauce with black pudding. So that's it. That's good. That's you and I sharing a luxury. Um, Dinky do love you in Greenock, guys. Have you ever been to Paisley? What's your thoughts, Paisley? Well, I worked in Paisley Ross. I worked in Paisley radio station Q96. And I also used to work in an office in Gauze Street. And I adored Paisley. Paisley has changed a little bit. For a while, it was a, a very dangerous town, apparently. There were one or two crims stalking around Paisley. But um, Paisley itself, I mean, my family, you'll laugh at this, this is true, my family gave the monks the land on which to build Paisley Abbey. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> And apparently, according to a historian friend, I am royal. Well, but I'll not be claiming any of that, I don't think. But I'm just telling you. Um, your beautiful eyes, Scotty, says Margot. Margot, you are very, very kind. I would imagine you do as well. 
A shout out to the govern lads, Scotty. Arthur, big shout to the govern lads. Come on, the govern boys. I remember attending the mod in govern. Uh, now, who have we got here? Scott, you're from Glasgow. Well, originally from a place called Greenock Kellum. I don't know if you've ever heard of Greenock. Hey, dinky do. Uh, whereabouts, whereabouts, where? You're from Glasgow. Well, as I say, originally from Greenock. Dinky do from Irvin, Scotty. Jamie, we love Irvin. Irvin Royal Academy. The Bultry Hill. I love the Magnum Centre, the um, Maritime Museum, uh, the Burns Club. Irvine's got a lot going for it, you know. Very, very fine people from Irvine. I what part of Paisley? Well, all of Paisley is uh, is rather lovely, you know. What about the Stanley Green? Do you know the Stanley Green? There's a nice one for you. Do you know the Glasgow Road? Yes, indeed. I used to take a refreshment in the Borough Bar. <laughs> what about that? Figgy, I know Figgy very, very well. Do you know that Figgy, before they built the houses, was one hoose, wand hoose, and you know whose hoose it was? It was Mr. Coates' hoose. So when Mr. Coates first came to Paisley to set up his thread mill, his address was Fergus Lee Park. What about that? A lot of money there now. Scotty, I'm in Hartlepool from Edinburgh. What are you doing in Hartlepool? with the monkey hangers. Uh, Scotty, have you ever had tea with Donald Trump? Buster, that's a luxury I've been denied up until now, but that may yet come because I've realized, it took me a while to work it all out, that Donald Trump will probably save us all from the evil that's stocking the world at the moment. So good will always triumph over evil. And Donald Trump is the king of triumph. The king of good. Mark my words. Check out my TikTok videos. Sometimes people on here ask questions without checking out the TikTok videos. Check them out, guys. Very important. Uh, so there we are. So I'd love to have tea with Donald Trump. Have you been invited to the coronation? Uh, I haven't, John. Very, very surprisingly, very poor form. Uh, normally you would expect McClue to be attending a major royal event, but um, I shall watch it on the telly. So we'll get uh, a giant bag of ready salted, and we'll get a pot. I think I'll make a pot of tea. And I shall uh, tuck into that and watch the coronation. I might even make four wee cucumber sandwiches with the crust cut off. Just to kind of, you know, get there. And I might also arrange a china cup. Margot says, oh, Scotty, I'm just here for the banter. Margot. The banter is excellent here. Have you been to the Isle of Butte, mate? Daza. I have worked on the Isle of Butte. And I drove in, you'll not believe this, the last Marquis of uh, Butte was Johnny Dumfries, the racing driver, the Earl of Dumfries, prior to becoming the Marquis. And I believe Johnny's no longer with us, sadly. But Johnny's father, John Butte, was a wonderful guy. And he ran the National Trust for Scotland. And I can remember working in the television station and John Butte came in and he said to the receptionist, I'm here for the evening programme. 
And she said, what's your name? And he said, John Butte. So she lifted the phone and she said to the director, that's Mr. Butte in reception for you? He would have loved that. Absolutely adored it. He was a great funster. And um, believe it or not, I drove into Mount Stewart Estate at something like five o'clock in the evening, just as John Butte was passing away in London. You live with Scottish phone in, who's that? Obviously nobody. Maybe Somebody calling in. Uh, just as John Butte passed away. Isn't that interesting? I mean, just crazy, crazy coincidence. And, uh, of course, I've worked in Rothsey. And I can remember when I worked on the boats. Do you remember the wee boat, the Maid of Butte? Used to come out uh, with Mr. Knox's boat, the Maid of Butte. Lovely. She was bright yellow. And during the Seaman strike in 1969, the Alexander brothers and Johnny Beatty were doing a show in Rothsey. And there was no way of them getting off the island. So the boat, the ferry master I worked for, sent us down on the boat and we picked them up. And that's a start of me developing my love for show business. We had such famous people on the boat as the Alexander Brothers and Johnny Beatty. <laughs> also, there were great performers called Grace Clark and Colin Murray. Clark and Murray were great entertainers at uh, Rothsey. It would be the Winter Gardens. As anyone told you how fabulous you are today, Erin, what a lovely thing to say. And I've no doubt you are fabulous and you must stay fabulous. Has anyone told me that I've got 5,400 likes? My goodness me. Uh, 5,450 likes. Guys, I need another 50 followers as quick as. So if you're watching right now, get following. Uh, who are you? Identify yourself. I am a friend. <laughs> Do not shoot. <laughs> Who are you? Identify yourself. Name and number. Name, rank and number. Scotty, I email you. Thank you, Callum. I think Donald Trump is destroying his foes. He speaks the truth. I hope he is president in 2024. I think, God willing, uh, that uh, Mark, he will definitely be president in 2024. He's not just destroying his foes. His, he's destroying our foes. The man is absolutely an epic icon. Watch his stuff. Listen to what he's saying. Listen to all his broadcasts. And um, you'll see where he's coming from. He's the guardian of the free world, Donald Trump. He'll save us all. Scotty, I'm from Edinburgh, but live in Hartlepool. I understand. Fano and Tiny, are you a free mason? Well, I've never come across anything like a free mason. The charges for masonry are huge. I had a friend in a big country house and he just wanted his polished ashlars repointing. The stonemason's bill was £50,000. Now that doesn't seem free. So operative masons are very expensive. They are they're certainly not free, I'll tell you that. And nor should they be because their work is quite outstanding. Hello, I'm from the Scottish Borders. Gwyn, we love it. We are boots in the Scottish Borders. Yes, indeed. I used to go down to the common riding. Wonderful. And one of the greatest privileges I think I've ever had 
was I was invited to speak at the common riding, but um, I unfortunately couldn't manage it um, due to prior engagements. You see, McClue gets quite heavily booked up. <laughs> Amazing. It amazes me. Uh, that's right. There you have it. There we go. Now then, are you still on the radio somewhere? Uh, I'm not on the radio at the moment. I haven't been on the radio for about two and a half years uh, because radio is mainly jukebox now. And they um, don't really go for the big shows. They just take a, a, a few crumbs from the table. Whereas if you think McClue was like, just a massive, massive show with a huge audience that brought millions of pounds in. It's not all about your achievements. I want to know who you are, who I am. Um, Scotty McClue. But I, in fairness to you, there are 8 billion people in the world. Now, 2 billion have heard of Scotty McClue worldwide. 2 billion. That means that worldwide I am tiny and 6 billion have yet to discover Scotty McClue. Now, whether I'll make it in my lifetime or not, who knows, but it's worth a try. So they are. So if you're not one of the 2 billion, Fano and Tiny, then uh, you won't know me, you know? You're a wee soul. Guys, seven and a half thousand likes. How long have we been up? Uh, I need another 50 followers, guys. Get following, please. 7,575 likes. Sorry, 7,595 likes. 232 comments. 7,671 likes. I need 50 more followers. Get following. Um, what have we got here? You look like David Attenborough, says Cars. Cars. Shall I do your David Attenborough impressionation? Oh. Nothing is stirring in the frozen landscape as we look across this forgotten part of the world, the Arctic tundra, we see a slight movement from the one resident of this frozen part of the planet. It's the Arctic fox. Any good? As a David Attenborough impressionation. It's the best city ever, Glasgow, absolutely. I'm swimming today, says Callum. You look after yourself, Callum. Oliver says, good morning, you legend. Is President Biden in your neck of the woods? No, Dino, he's in Ireland, which is across the water. If you ever go across the sea to Ireland. We love you, Scotty. I thank you, Oliver. Uh, now, Elis has just given me a gift. Guys, I've done a test this morning. Now, be very careful about this. I'm warning you. There is a goal. I put 20 because that's the least it would manage. It's a very expensive goal. And I want to know if anybody's watching who's flush and can give me one of these good mornings. All right, there's a squirrel. Who sent a squirrel? Who likes typing over the top of what the host is saying? Fano and Tiny, everybody loves typing over the top of what the host is saying. That's what this TikTok live is all about. 8,600 likes, guys. What are you like? What do you like? See what I just did there? Woo! Uh, right, I need another 40 followers, okay? 40. Four zero. Four zero. There we have. Uh, Elis has just got the number one gifter badge. 
and have just had an alien, uh, well, an alien gift, not an alien, an alien gift. It might be an alien. Who knows? There we have it. 9,083 likes. Everybody on TikTok must be going tap, 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 tap on their phones. Guys, come on. I need another 40 followers. I think I know you so well. Callum, what a nice thing to say. Lovely, lovely TikTok people. There's Chelsea has sent me an alien as well. Um, Buff says, have you what for Babe Station? No, Buff. You mustn't assume everybody has your lifestyle. I don't even know what that is. I just know I haven't worked for it. Mary Hill is wonderful. Uh, now, who have we got? Hello, sir. Have you watched Breaking Bad? Well, I'm more Breaking Good, uh, I would say. Um, like, uh, you know, I can remember a movie I was in called Die Soft. <laughs> And um, I was in a boy band called uh, No Direction. Uh, I live in Hartlepool, Scotland. You were saying that, Andrew, yes. What time are you going live tonight, says Callum? We don't know, Callum. It all depends on how the day goes. Do you see what I mean? It's a very, very busy day today. Uh, a lot happening. Uh, now, Harrison. You need to raise your game. Do you know what I mean? You need to raise your game. We don't discuss low-life gutter stuff like that. This is a very, very high-quality TikTok's talk, talk show. So why would you ask a question about that, Harrison? Do you see what I mean? Uh opinions on I mean who's going to, well everybody's going to have an opinion on that one but it's going to be the same opinion so you need to grow up Harrison and raise your game and then you can stay on if you if you can't do that then we'll have to give you a ban for life uh, there we are hello Scotty from Clyde Bank Stephen you're a banky we love the bankies What's blood puddings? You know, blood pudding is essentially black pudding. Very good for blood, for um, strengthening your own blood. Uh, thank you for your service. Not a tall apple user. Is that the Lord Mayor pictured behind you? Yes, that's the Lord Mayor. Well, that's actually Lord Reith the Labrador, called after the man that started the BBC 101 years ago. The BBC company it was then, with four employees. And that was John Reith from Glasgow. I had the privilege of meeting his family, his, his daughter. I haven't met his son, didn't meet Christopher, but I met his daughter, Marista, sadly no longer with us. And uh, I met her lovely uh, family, her lovely daughters, and her lovely husband, Murray. Uh, you know, and um, obviously... Uh, and a lot of people that knew John Reith very well. Well, if anybody knew John Reith well, he was a remarkable man. Not a terribly great husband or father, but a wonderful man uh, in many ways. A great industrialist. Wonderful brain. Uh, now, Kiki. Kiki, I think, guys, can we have a look at Kiki's post? It's got a key beside it. And shall we send her straight down the Swanee? Shall we give her a lifetime ban? Can you see Kiki's post there? I think we'll give Kiki a lifetime ban for being just sheer evil. There we go. Bye bye, Kiki. What's well, hot away? Lifetime ban for Kiki. Good. Do you know about clans? Emma Jane, of course I know about clans. That's like asking His Holiness the Pope if he knows about religion. 
Uh, so there we are. Scottish men, I haven't watched it. No. Paisley Abbey is beautiful, as is Coates Memorial Church. True crime files, you're 100% correct. Paisley Abbey. Yes, indeed, I've sung in it. What do you do on this, says Yip Yap. We talk, Yip Yap, because it's called TikTok. We don't tick, but we do talk. Well, we make things tick uh, because we talk. So that's what we do. Up with the green oak, absolutely, Adam. My granddad used to wear a hat like that. R.I.P. Peter. Tommy, bless Peter, because this is a quality hat. I tell you. So that's Kiki away, guys. OMG, I love your accent, says K. Alba, I thank you, K. It's not really an accent. It's just the way I speak. I've always spoken. Can you tell your story about boats? Well, GT, what do you want to know? I started work on boats when I was 12. You could work a Saturday job. And I got two half crowns, five shillings, quarter of a pound. It was huge. And uh, I was the cabin boy. But I got to steer them. They trusted me with steering. Uh, I took the fares. I swept up the cabins. I helped to start the engine. I rode the ferrymaster out to the boat when she was at her mooring. I stood on Guruk Pier and shouted, Helensburg, because we were the Helensburg ferry. And I stood in Helensburg Pier and shouted, Guruk, because we were the Guruk ferry. And had the time of my life, and in fact was in touch just a month or two ago with one of the skippers. <clears throat> and that's it. Dare I say, about 55 years ago, the skipper was 21, so he must be about 74, 75 now. Uh, there we go. Shout out to the, to the Muir of Ord boys in the Highlands of Scotland. I know Muir of Ord very well. A big shout out to you all. Do you know the Carn Bridge? Do you know the Ave Moor? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Do you know King Yusi? I didn't know you were from Greenock. Whereabouts, Scotty? I was born in Brisbane Street. What about that? That lovely, beautiful street too. And we used to look along at the old mansion that was Balclutha. It had been the home of uh, Robert Scott, Robert Lyon Scott of Scott, the shipbuilders. And Balclutha, he died in 1939, Robert Scott. And he was a big game hunter. Used to see a lot of his stuff, I think. I don't know if it's still in the McLean Museum. And um, that house got pulled down in 1959. I was just wee. And they built uh, Greenock Academy and opened it in 1964. That was the new, the new Greenock Academy. And it has since, after being the school for, uh, for Waterloo Road, it's since been pulled down, I believe. I don't know if anything's been done with the site, but there was one house on that site, Balclutha, and Balclutha's address was 11 Newark Street. <laughs> uh, Scottish man, you keep asking, have you watched Breaking Bad? No, 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 no. Have you got that answer yet? Because you're starting to spam us now. How would I find out where the McGowan clan come from in Scotland? Well, I wanted to check that for you. Um, there's a lot of McGowans in the central belt. And I used to love McGowan's Highland Toffee. Do you know Christon? I know it very, very well. Christon Castle. There's poor Kiki away down the river. She'll never be back now. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can.
Oh my goodness me, I popped up for five minutes and been here for 45. Guys, I need another 25 followers. Could everyone watching oblige, please? Do you like Trump? Do you like Xi and Putin? Well, all of these people are very fine leaders. Uh, one of them's not so popular at the moment, of course. Um, but the other two are. Uh, but we really need Donald Trump back in power. And bye-bye, uh, Sleepy Joe. Uh, Trump for 2024. We need Trump to put the world back in order, says Colin. Colin, you're 100% correct. Guys, check out all my TikTok videos. There's huge knowledge for you. Knowledge and information. 12,000 likes. Guys, another 20 followers, please. Everybody get following. If you're watching now, up to the top left, click the plus. Hurry up. Uh, Trump is dangerous. Fred, in what way is Trump dangerous? The only person, the only people Trump is dangerous to is the evil people in the world. And for these evil people who are at the moment, at this very moment, disseminating evil, Trump is very, very, very dangerous for them. Yeah? So the badness in the world needs to be triumphed, trumped by goodness. And Donald Trump is full of goodness. So Fred, yes, I know he's dangerous, but he's dangerous to the bad people who wish you and I, and everyone else, harm. All right? You got that? What about that? I'm from Brazil. Ah, Welton, we love you in Brazil. Now then. It was all about America only. No, 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 guys. Wrong, 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 wrong. A hundred percent, a thousand times wrong. So, guys, are you getting the message? Wrong. Uh, there we are. The world's dangerous without Trump. Absolutely, Colin. Yes, indeed. Trump no use to us in the UK. Are you kidding, guys? Trump will save the UK. The UK is just a dot, a drop in the ocean to Trump. And there are a lot of people wishing the UK a lot of harm. Donald Trump loves the UK. Yes, watch this space. Mark my words. Absolutely. So, guys, you couldn't be more wrong. Um, who have we got here? Colin says, if Trump was in power, the Ukrainian conflict wouldn't be happening. Correct. Correct. Absolutely. You should sort it out with a phone call. There we go. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Thank you for the blue hearts. Have you ever been to Springburn? I know Springburn very, very well. Do you remember Stob Hill? Well, it's still about, of course, in Rock Hill. Thank you very much, mate, for telling me about the Isle of Butte. I stay here and you're spot on. I love it. Yes, but Daza, is that not incredible? And there used to be a little ship called the Queen of Scots. And she was owned by uh, Sir Robert McAlpin, the construction people, when they were constructing the big oil yard down at... Uh, are dying at the end of the Cowell Peninsula. Are dying. And she used to go for, and she had engine room telegraphs. And when I was going to my work in the morning, I would hear them ringing across Rothsey Bay. Ring, 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 ring. Bridge to engine room. Slow ahead, both, please. Are you a Tory? Well, I don't know what a Tory actually is. All I know is that people called Tories are doing incredible amount of damage to this country and took us out of Europe 
where we had 50 years of peace and prosperity and brought us economic annihilation and political fragmentation of the UK. So if that's what being a Tory is, then no. I'm most certainly not. I'm actually apolitical. I don't have political affiliations. There we go. And if you look at the damage that's been done by Tories, look at what Beeching did to the railways. Look at what Thatcher did to all our industry. Look at what she did to smashing, painting the miners as bad, the people who have been the backbone of Britain. We used to provide 75% of the world's coal up until the First World War. So am I a Tory? No, I think not. Have you ever been to Arden? Well, which Arden are we talking about? Are we talking about Henley in Arden? Or are we talking Ardine? Or are we talking um, Ardmore? Uh, hi, Scotty. How are you? Well, thank you, Chris. Lovely to have you with us. Chris Quizkeeks. What a top man. Guys, I can't believe this is incredible. 13,000 followers since we popped up. 13,000. Have you watched all of the TikTok videos? Have you shared them and liked them and told everybody about them on your social media? Please do so, because it will help all of us to grow this. Uh, £50,000. How many blue whales is that? Well, how many thousand pounds does a blue whale weigh? There we are. And I, I don't think they're for sale. Uh, you know, I'm Irish. Ah, we love to have you. Which part of Ireland are you from? Come and join us. Barney is sending me TikToks. Guys, who sent me the good morning? Somebody very, very flush. Face up, guys. I hope I haven't missed you. I want to thank you. Up there is a goal of good mornings. Now, be careful because they're expensive. This is an experiment. We normally put up red roses and TikToks, which I believe are one. Uh, the good morning is more than one. And I wanted to see if somebody would give me a good morning. Dominic sent a squirrel. Um, and I've been given a good morning. And I want to know who by. Show yourself, you wonderful person. Top of the morning to you. Uh, there we go. Thank you for sharing the lives, guys. Scotty, too hotty. Thank you, Sherman. Sherman, I'm apparently a charman. Have you ever heard of them? 13,400 likes. I'm from Ireland, the southern part, the Republic. I know who you are. I know the Republic like the back of my hand. I've been right down to the Ring of Kerry and to Clonakilty and Killarney, and Tipperary. Yes, indeedy. We love it. Uh, guys, I need another 20 followers. If you can do 20. Who sent me a good morning? Spond. Spond has sent me a good morning. Spond, I hope you checked very carefully. And I've just been sent a mushroom by Zeph. Zeph, I thank you. Guys, thank you for the good mornings. Is the first lord of the radio. I am Neil. Hashtag float high, uppercase, first lord of the internet. Guys, I've got two good mornings from two very, very flush people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Scotty, can you add me on Skype? Yes, Callum, I'm sure we can. You can phone us on Skype. Now, are you the man who knocks the chimneys down? No, that was Fred, the wonderful Fred Dibner. I wish I had a hundredth of his skills. He was very like my father, actually. My father and Fred Dibner had similar skills. Uh, let's get rid of this one here with the aircraft. Get rid of him. 
Right, here we go. Kelsey. We're getting rid of Kelsey. That's him away. Good. Shout out. Yes, you can. Hey, this one goes out to the first gift. Uh, your worst nightmare, we're giving you a lifetime ban for being an idiot. And that's probably all you'll always be unless you grow up. There we go. Now then, can you say hi to Connor and Patrick? I can, McQueen, of course I can. Top of the morning to you both. And then the park head in the background. How amazing is that? Wonderful. Guys, I'm going to have to go soon. I need another 15 followers. If you haven't followed, pop up to the top left. Also get yourselves on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. It's just called Scotty McClue Voice of the World. And subscribe and watch the videos. I play guitar in Glasgow one day. Callum, my friend, his guitar playing's not so good since his teacher told him not to fret. See what I just did there? Follow us, guys. Ireland's a hundred times nicer than Scotland. Um, well, Scotland is stunningly beautiful, and Ireland is, oh, far more than a hundred times. I would say a thousand times, Thomas. I remember calling in at Blarney Castle and kissing the Blarney Stone. I've got a certificate from Blarney Castle. Ireland's beautiful. How much of the gifts, Neil? Uh, don't go for that one uh, if you're if you're not flush. There, we are. you need to check it out, guys. How much is a good morning um, on TikTok? Can anybody check out a good morning? You should be able to see it yourself, Neil. Actually, there, Chelsea's got the number one gifter badge. Alien peace sign. Pardon the pun. Not at all, Neil. Absolutely. Thank you for following. Thank you for the beautiful gifts, guys. An alien peace sign. That's right, SQZ. Give us a tune in the squeeze box. I think we're too tight for time, guys. Yeah, we're too tight for time for a tune in the squeeze box. We'll get another one later. But thank you for joining us this morning. You're beautiful, beautiful people. 14,200 likes. Why didn't you say thank you for the gifts? I've just said thank you, M. Did you not hear me? I've thanked and thanked and thanked people until I'm blue and green and white on the face. Red, white and blue and green and white in the face. But thank you for your beautiful gifts. I spend 49p on you. You're very, very kind. There we are. A shout out, everybody. Hello, Scotty from East School Bride. Yes, indeed. I tried to go skiing in Aberdeen last week, but didn't know fit ski fits and fit fit. Ah, far about you there, Stuarty. Fit like loon. Uh, good morning. Who's your doozy? Chaffin' of all. Take it to Scotty. says, Skid. Hello, Skid. Scotty, enjoying your day in this big, bright, beautiful world. Isn't it absolutely stunningly gorgeous? Guys, I've got to go. Don't think I don't love you. Thank you for all the beautiful gifts. Thank you for all your follows. Good morning. I'm off to Danoon. We love Danoon. Uh, the man sounds like Shakespeare. Oh, for a muse of fire. Hello from Wester Hills. We love you in Wester Hills. Dinky do. Uh, Dachung will get rid of you for lifetime ban for being an idiot. Dachun has gone. Never be seen again. Aye, aye, Fiatne. We love you, Notney. Just watch it for the wind. Dinky do. Love you. Bro doesn't reply to our comments. Uh, 